So what starts here can indeed change the world. But the question is, what will the world look like? I have a few suggestions that may help you on your way to a better world. And while these lessons were learned every morning, during my time in the military, you will have accomplished the first task of the day. You can't change the world alone. give you a small... You will need some help. And to truly get from your starting point to your destination takes friends, colleagues, the goodwill of strength. Hi, I'm Lois Sonstegard, and today I want to talk about how do you find hope in the midst of a lot of stress? You know, we just came through the pandemic, and... I think a lot of us have sat back and said, wow, isn't it great to have life back to sort of a normal? Feeling stable, we have a job, we're paying bills, we're planning that first family vacation perhaps, and life feels good. Until we turn on that television and we listen to the news and we wonder what happened to our world overnight, right? It feels like it's falling apart and we say to ourselves, we thought we had systems in place. These things can't happen again. We built processes to prevent this since World War II. And we look, wondering what's next, uncertain about our future. And that produces, again, a new level of stress. And so I thought in the midst of this, one of the things that might be really fun and interesting and helpful to you is to go through the 10 lessons that Admiral McRaven learned as a Navy SEAL. He shared these at his commencement address to, at the University of Texas in Austin in 2014. These are the lessons he learned as a Navy SEAL. First, he said, start each day by completing a task. Make your bed, check it off. It's a simple task, but as you complete the simple task, the next, the next, the next, each becomes easier. Two. Everyone counts. Each of us has a part to play. Don't sit back, belittle your role, think it's hopeless, helpless. Your role is important, whatever it is. Everyone counts. Third, find somebody to help, to go on the journey with you. Don't do it alone. If a Navy SEAL can't do a mission all by himself, neither can we. And I think more and more as we go through life, we're going to find now in the future, it's our ability to collaborate that's going to make the difference. The question is, do we have the tools and the skills to do that? Think about that. Fourth, respect everyone. Fifth, measure people by their heart size, not by their pocketbook or their position or their ability to influence their gender, their ethnicity, their race, none of that. What matters most is people's heart space. Next, know that life is not fair. You will fail often. Everyone experiences challenge and failure. You're not alone, so don't get stuck there. These experiences test you and they prepare you for that next phase. They are important experiences. Keep moving forward. Take on some risk. It is risk that allows you to develop and grow and move ahead. Next, the world is full of sharks. Don't back down from them. Rather, face down the bullies and don't forget to lift up the downtrodden. Next, step up in the toughest of times. Take on the challenge, focused and determined to accomplish your goal. Don't forget the power of hope. Start singing when you're up to your neck in mud. Singing lifts our spirits. Do what it is that you need to do to lift your spirits. And lastly, never, never, ever give up. If you do these things, the next generation can know and enjoy a better life because of what you did. Don't forget, your role is important especially in the world that we're living today. We need every voice, every talent that there is to join together and make this a better world for the next generation. Thanks so much for listening.